Hi, it's Danny. In this video, I just want to talk to you about insecticides with orchids. I recently saw a video of, uh, of a person that I'm subscribed to in which uh, she presented the effects of insecticides on buds and flowers and um, she had a rather nasty experience with it. Um, I think it was a, a Schultz insecticide um, and it actually burned the buds and the flowers and I thought of showing you what I use because I have never experienced uh, bud loss or uh, burnt flowers or anything like that with this particular one. So the brand is called Mospilan and it is actually made in Japan. It's a Japanese brand and um, I'm not sure if you can find this where you live. We find it, it's like the most common insecticide here. It's a wide spectrum insecticide and I know that wide spectrum insecticides don't usually do a good job but this one was used on uh, mealybugs, on aphids and on spider mites and uh, it did a very good job and of course it did not kill any buds or any flowers. Um, my orchids bloomed as usual and um, the bugs were dead within like a day or two and they they didn't reappear. Now, if you can't find this particular brand, um, the active ingredient is this one, acetamip acetamiprid. <laughs> I have no idea if if I pronounced it correctly. So yeah, this is um, it's based on this. And the way you use it, it's, it's a powder that you have to mix in water and then just spray the whole plant with it. And I'm going to show you my recently treated uh, orchid, which is this Bellara. Um, she was full of aphids and um, she wasn't in a great shape either. But as you can see, I think I got this um, almost a week ago and I sprayed it and um, nothing happened. The bugs disappeared. Where there are one or two spots here and there. Um, I was just too lazy to get them off. Most of them fell, and um, this is their graveyard. <laughs> yeah, this is how I collected them. But yeah, anyway, they're dead. Um, the way you use it is you spray it, and after two or three weeks, you spray it again just in case you missed any uh, larvae or eggs or stuff like that. And uh, then you should be good to go. So. Yeah, this is what I use. Uh, white spectrum insecticide, good for a lot of plants, citrus, apples, trees, and stuff like that. And um, anyway, precaution measures: uh, use a mask, use gloves. You know, sensitive. Just uh, use your sen your common sense. Don't spray it into your face. Don't inhale it. Don't drink it. Stuff like that. Either than that, it really doesn't have a smell. Um, I always use a mask with it and uh, plastic gloves and that's about it. No harm done. It says on the package that it's not toxic for birds or fish. Um, mildly toxic for um, mammals if you drink it or something like that. But either way, just don't. It's an insecticide. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. And um, anyway, if you can find... Uh, rubbing alcohol or stuff like that that actually do work or you have your own recipe that's just fine but if you don't if you're like me um, you live in a country where you really can't find isopropyl so freely then you might resort to insecticide and uh, this is this is a good brand if you can find it if not try to find something that has that active ingredient showing you again come on there you go. I'm gonna link you to some uh, information about this insecticide in the description and um, yeah good luck with your bug infestations if you have it and uh, hope, I hope um, you find a way of getting rid of them without insecticides but if not you know hopefully this helped you. Okay thank you for watching this episode if you have questions or suggestions or you want me to talk on certain subjects just leave me a comment and um, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Okay, I wish you a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.